Hey, how you doing, Mr. Muscarel and Pythagoras? Say hello, Pythagoras. Hello, class. We're just coming at you with our very last example of this section, example number five. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get right into this problem. Now for this, we've got a cross section of a group of seats at a stadium that shows a drainage pipe BD that leads from the seats to the inside of the stadium. What's the length of the pipe if AB is 20 feet, BC is 30 feet, and AC is 10 square root of 13 feet? Ooh, well, those are some messy things, but I think you guys can handle this one. What I want you to do is go ahead and draw the three triangles, the small one, the medium one, the large one, color code the two triangles that are on the inside of the original triangle, ABC, the largest triangle, and what I want you to do is go ahead and see if you can get all the information filled out that is required to help you solve this problem. When you're ready, come on back and let's see how you did. So how did you do getting everything set up? Hopefully you did well. I'm sure that you did. But here's our dilemma. We've got this piece that we're trying to find, the drainage pipe BD. Well, that's located right here. And I'm just going to call that part X. So the piece we're trying to find is the altitude of the original triangle or a leg or an altitude of one of the other triangles. Now check out the smaller triangle BDA and the medium triangle CDB. Even though we've got two values in both of those, all we want to do is kind of analyze where things are set up. So the correct two triangles that we're going to use it should be kind of obvious by this point. There's going to be one triangle which isn't going to help us set out to solve this problem. Do you know which triangle it is? Yeah, give yourselves a big round of applause if you chose the triangle in the middle. Medium triangle is not going to be helpful for us to solve this problem. So thanks for playing, but we don't need you. Now the next thing that I want you to do is go ahead and set up a proportion and solve the triangle. Now there's a probably quite a few different proportions that you could write. So what I want you to do is go ahead and write down the correct proportion that you see. In the end, we should come out with the exact same answer. Now when you're done with your answer, go ahead and make sure you write a sentence. So go ahead, hit pause, and solve this one on your own. I've got every bit of confidence in you that you can go ahead and do this now. So how did you do? This isn't the only way you could set this problem up, but what I did is I said, okay, BD over BA equals CB over AC. So that was how I chose to set it up. You might have that in a little bit different order, and that's okay as long as when you do the second step, you substitute correctly, and on your third step, you go ahead and make sure that you cross multiply. And then when you divide on your fifth step, or I'm sorry, your fourth step, you're going to take that number, 600 over 10 squared roots of 3. You're going to use a calculator to help evaluate that and simplify that down to about 34.64. Once we get done with that, all you need to do is make sure you answer the question in a complete sentence and include units. If you don't include the units, you'll get dinged a point in most classes. And then when you go on in other more advanced classes, such as calculus, that is a very important piece to have. And you'll see that again in chemistry as well. Units are crucial to help you describe your understanding. So you'll need to make sure that you add a sentence that says the length of the pipe is about 34.6 feet. That's all there is for this word problem for example number five. Look forward to seeing you guys in class so that we can practice this some more and I'll catch up with you soon. Alright, later. Peace.